as you can see, as you can see, E Ray and Naga in the backyard free roaming. Naga's in the outside tank. E Ray, that's E Ray's up there. There go the babies. And there go Titus. Y'all stay tuned for this video, man. Yo, 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 it's your boy, Dragons of Thunder, and I'm back live, direct, with another video. And today's episode is about if you don't have the time, money, or space, you shouldn't own multiple bearded dragons. If you don't have the time, money, or space, you should only own one bearded dragon and I do mean one because it's a lot of time money and space involved There go E-Ray up there. He got out of his cage His outside cage isn't complete But I let him do what he pleases He is the king around here as you can see his uh His metal uh his metal enclosure outside has big uh big gaps in it and he escapes and goes sees the girls he's a beautiful boy yes he is aren't you beautiful e right you hear that car back there if y'all could see him in person you wouldn't think you wouldn't think he's ugly if you've seen him in person he's a beautiful dragon Ain't that right, E-Ray? Yeah, I know. That's right, Daddy. Yeah, I know. Look at them legs. That boy is a big boy. My boy E-Ray is a big monster. So he gets out of his cage, and uh, I let him free roam because he doesn't go anywhere. E-Ray, uh, he pretty much stays put. He has rocks, bricks, bush, limbs, he has a lot to do in there, um, but he decides he wants to free roam, especially when the ladies are out. Naga, Naga, Naga. Say what up, Daddy? There goes Zula. She's waving. Oh, Naga's waving too. They don't want anything to do with you. Look at him. Uh-oh, first time on first time on video, we catch him in action. The video is about not owning multiple bitter dragons because of time, money, and space. Now I'm gonna talk to you as we watch this. Um, the babies are over there. We're about to go check out the babies and see what they're doing. I put some fresh greens in their uh in their outside enclosure, so we'll go see what they're doing. But until then, we'll check out this love story over here. Um, like I say, if you don't have the money, time, or space, you shouldn't get multiple bearded dragons. You should only have one. You have to provide space for your feeder bugs, and I have a lot. I bought crickets today from the Lone Star Expo. Um, the Lone Star Expo crickets are pretty cheap. Um, I bought some crickets today. I got them in their own bin. Look at this spider. I'm sick of all these spiders in, in my uh, in my neighborhood. But uh, yeah, man, I got some crickets. Put them in a bucket. I got some super worms. I got a bunch of dubias in a bucket, and then I have my dubia colony. I have uh, wax worms, mill worms, super worms. So. If you don't have a lot of space for these uh, bearded dragons, you shouldn't get them. If you don't have a lot of money, you have to have backup bulbs, you have to have backup uh, food feeders, you have to have a lot of backup items, especially your UVB and your basking bulbs. You should have a backup bulb for each enclosure. That's a backup UVB and a backup a backup UVB and a backup basking bulb. Also, if you use uh, Qi, ceramic heat emitters, 
you need a backup chi if you use those also. So if you have chi, UVB, and basking in your enclosure, you need a backup of each of those bulbs. Now let's see what these little ones are doing. Let's see. They're climbing up. They're trying to get up out of here. This is their, uh, this is only their second time in this. This is only their second time in the outdoor enclosure. And they're pretty frightened, as you can see. But they're, they're safe. They're all good. So they'll be all right. They will be all right. Um, got them some fresh greens. Got them a hot. Got them a brick. And they're good. So this is the two babies. Uh, Genesis right here. And then Sokka right here. Sokka is... Sokka is uh, hypo. Translucent. Het zero. Genesis is translucent. Is a hypo translucent. That's all. But yeah, her translucent is pretty strong. You can see it through her eyes. Through the top of her eyes is black. But yeah, she's going to be fire. But yeah, that's the babies. This is the outside enclosure. I bring all my dragons to get heat at an early age. I train them early, too. I put on my shoulder. I let them ride around. And uh, I take them. I have took uh, Genesis to the store. I took Sokka to Walmart. And I'm going to keep practicing with them. You know what I'm saying? Get them to where they are exactly like uh, E-Ray, Azula, and Naga. The only one of my big dragons I have an issue with right now with taking places and uh, being outside is Naga. I mean, no, not Naga. Not the Zero. But Azula, this bright orange girl, she's still kind of scary. She's the only one. Not a lot. As you can see, she's looking up. She, Anytime she hear a bird, she's looking. But Naga and E-Ray, they don't give a dang about birds, cats, dogs. Um, hell, raccoons. They don't care about nothing. But, uh, yeah. Sound like somebody threw something at me. I hope that was something falling out the tree. But yeah, uh, Naga and E-Ray don't give a crap about anything. They, they, they're not afraid of anything. Um, as you can see, E-Ray got out. I'm gonna put him in a, uh, I'm about to put him in a bin. I'm gonna put him in, in a bin until I finish his, uh, until I finish his outside, um, enclosure because i gotta wrap it with a uh, chicken wire because his uh his uh his metal uh poles or pipes are wider or i might take this back and go find me one with smaller ones yeah i find those and i i put them together i cut them down and uh zip tie them to four by two by twos and so i might take this one back and see if I can find a four by two by two uh, again. Ain't that right, E-Ray? I'm telling y'all, man, this boy, look at my Yeezys, they beat up. If you watch this video to the end, I want you to comment, Yeezy man, Y-E-E-Z-Y-M-A-N. Comment Yeezy man. Call me the Yeezy man. I got over, I think I got over 10 per now, but uh, 10 per of Yeezys. So drop drop the comment in the comment box if you watched all the way to this point. Comment Yeezy man. Now let's go back to explaining. If you do not have the proper money, time, or space. All right, I covered the money a little bit and I covered the space. So let's cover the, uh, the money the money you have to buy a lot of bugs you have to buy a lot of vegetables um you have to buy a lot of light bulbs you have to buy big enclosures you have to buy 
Lots and lots of decoration if you want your bearded dragon to have a thriving life. You know what I'm saying? Let's look at this boy's soccer real quick. Actually, let's look at both of them. But yeah, you have to buy a lot of stuff for these dragons. You can't just, you can't just, uh, yeah, man, you just can't, you know, not buy uh, decorations and not buy UVB and not buy uh, basking lights. You have to buy all that stuff for your dragon. And you should have all that stuff before you buy your dragon. You know what I'm saying? Junior! What you doing? Toddy buddy. E-Ray was bobbing at the girls, man. I missed it because uh, my phone overheated out here in this hot ass Texas heat. And I had the brightness all the way up on uh, UHD 60 frames per second. So the camera just said, no, too hot, gotta go. But yeah, man, you gotta buy all that stuff for your dragon before you get it. And you have, like I said, you have to have backup stuff. But this is the two babies. Hey, Azula, I've never seen, Azula, I've never seen this. What are you doing? Maybe she she just bit Naga on the tail. And I'm thinking because they are in mating mating uh action. I'll record some of it, man. But y'all thrash the like, pound the subscribe, and uh stay tuned, man. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Make sure you share my video on all platforms. Share my video on all your uh social media platforms. Thank you. Dragons of Thunder out. Don't forget, comment easy man in the comments if you watched all my video. Thank you.